everyone. This is Nabir Watcher. It is November 5th, 2017. And yesterday I posted a 25 minute video and YouTube had deleted the last 15 minutes. Wow. Yeah, they really messed with me. They're even messed with my little creator studio, so I can't even put that little fiery intro anymore, so I just don't bother. Anyways, get right into it, right? So it was a moon simulator growing to over five times or bigger than its size in a matter of minutes. So let's watch the proof of the moon simulator and why lots of questions, you know, why. So you can only speculate why would they want to do something like this. So let's just get into it. Here we go. So this is the northeast facing camera. We're going to watch the moon come up. We're going to watch it in slow motion. We're going to watch it on another camera and on two different days. <laughs> changes size, changes shape, goes from round to square, lights up the lens array in the background. See all these little lenses here. At least someone talk about this planet too. And all these little circular objects we see in the sky, they're pulling this planet out of focus so you don't see it, making this look like a projection. And uh, let's watch that on a... Let's see, where are we at? Let's watch it. What happened? That was, that was the 4th of November. This is the 3rd. Let's watch this time lapse. How many full moons are you going to have in a day anyways? This one gets crazy, right? I'm going to zoom in on that one. Well, let's, I'm going to watch it so many different ways. <laughs> you have the purple skies. It looks white. We lose its characteristic. It explodes into size. And we see all these rings. Those are the lens arrays lighting up. I think that's like the shot of the day right there. Look at all those rings. Just like I showed you in my other video. Way back. Now I'm going to zoom in on this thing. Wait, wait, let's, uh, let's start this up. This time I'm going to follow this moon as it rises. We're going to zoom in. Notice you can see its lunar characteristics. As I follow this thing up, I want you to just lose its characteristics. Flash white and explode inside. It's still round. And now it's looking almost hexagonal as it goes through and lights up this guy now let's zoom that back out all right got lots to talk about we've got the the lens array now we're seeing more obvious on this camera as well as the other cameras that we see this on i will get into that let's check out this planetary objects just people want to call it a smudge on the lens wow really go look at your own security cameras watch this smudge just up here out of thin air there's nothing to put it there there's nothing to take it back off the next day after day that's how this object's coming in it's a smudge looking thing it's more like a holographic smudge because it's being projected forward and light go back and watch my lens array videos and how they're creating like this projection like images in the sky made by jpl pulling them out of focus I don't want to leave a point. I just want to focus on this object here. Let's watch that again. Watch this smudge just appear. Move around a little bit. Electric in nature. We've been lied to. We have an electric universe. You go and study the works of Dr. Walter Russell in the cubic waveform theory. There aren't even particles. What we think of particles are the convergence of standing waves. There's a large group of scientists who have been ignored by the lamestream scientists, just like Einstein was, even though he's wrong about particles. Remember, he was more focused on relativity, but there's no gravity. It does not exist. It's magnetic fields. Again, the smudge just appears and then disappears. We'll watch a full time-lapse video. 
let's watch another object the same day the fourth the moon rises in Australia in Canberra I hope I pronounce that right anybody who wants to be a grammar Nazi out there feel free and happy to hear how to pronounce that correctly I love that is not the point the point is the loon names Wow okay <laughs> look at this thing does that look normal at all how many times is that thing gonna change diameter and you know I'm just gonna ignore the crap that people want to say that that's just the camera adjusting it's you know ISO setting and I mean really I, I, you know what I like? I like the trolls that come up here and say that they've been photographer for like 197 years and they, you know, they even have their little icon with the doctor, professor alpha with a chalkboard in the background and, and they feel free to correct me with these fake YouTube accounts making themselves be professors. Yeah, it's golden. I don't know. I just can't follow that. So it's a, let's break this one down. You know what? Let's jump into. I want to show you a little quick demonstration of something I'd shown a while ago about the sun simulator. Now we got proof of the moon simulator. And proof positive, just the clouds alone verifies it. I don't even talk about cameras. The fact that that moon is changing diameter as it passes through clouds is busted. Okay? So you've got low altitude clouds represented in this paper. You got a big sun or big moon, high altitude clouds, it's small. That is because the light coming from this flashlight or coming at approaching it as an angular light, not straight, because it's smaller and closer. If this, okay. And like we have in this video, the time lapse halo. We've been seeing these now. This shows many things. First, I'll fake you the inner fake sun that changes diameter because it's fake its light is approaching us at angles it can change size watch it good small and big small and big yet the true light of the sun is from the outside being bent by the lens array also is not changing diameter like the inner sun okay so it's totally unaffected on the outside light and the fact that this is an eclipse is why they have this. The light of the sun is being obscured. And sometimes it obscures the light. If it's blocking this, it can block the light of the moon. So we must put a sun, moon simulator in place for mass panic control. And many people have reported in many pictures that we have a new moon. And it should be a full moon. We've got partial moon back to a full moon, back to a new moon. I've made videos about it. Go back to my archives that look at right here we can see the light is not even finished you can't call this a natural halo be and you can't even call this clouds because we're getting like this reddish rainbow look but it's not even all the prisms if that was water then I want a full color spectrum greens reds purples or well we already have orange but we don't have blue or green Where's the rainbow color? So we know that those are chemicals. Oh, and I had made a video in the past showing this. Okay. I was uh, pretty blown away by that on this very camera we've been watching these on. And I've heard every excuse Hangers open up their hangar doors, you know, flash of light, flood light. And I've got, I've actually watched seven straight days of time lapse, night and day, 24 hours straight, never seeing anything like this. Well, so let's show that. Seven day time lapse, and we're also going to notice the lens array as well. So here we go. starting with November 2nd and by the way we haven't always had this object here that's why it's got my attention 
thanks to the systems that we have in place. We've got 27 minutes, but for the sake of time, I'm going to have to kind of skip through some of this. But you'll not see at any time that object that I had showed you before. It was a very rare event. I've been looking for it ever since. It never appeared again. Now we can see the appearance of the lens array here. By the way, when you make really long time-lapse videos, any movement on here is very delicate, so it can very trying to try and get this thing to show you an exact spot on there. I would have done one day at a time. We can see this black, you want to call it an orb. I call it a planetary shadow projection from the lens array. Things are just really warped. Okay, so trying to see what I get to show you here is the fact that every night the sun sets and rises on the spot we have yet to see the Nessus star arcing between the two planets is what I call that video it's just not showing up but we are seeing the lens array here you go see this plant my cursor right here and uh, thanks to Nigel's view on things I had said that the red is evidence of the lens array it is not it's still actually part of the simulator we can see a lens array appearing here we can see it moving here we can see the the light reacting and moving around the very lens array right here and off this lens array even this is reflecting to this lens see how it moves exactly the precise timing it's re directly relating to this and you'll notice also this beam of light is totally unaffected well, this light is dancing with this light perfectly. One, two, three. It's all the same. You can see it bending this light from here, here to here. It's the same light beam. When you want to study something, you got to focus maybe on one beam of light of time. So you'll notice, focus your eye on this beam right here. Watch how it starts to move. This is moving with this light. This is the same beam bending around this invisible lens array. See it moving perfectly with this? And you can see the lens that did it, and it goes to the next lens and flexes through this lens. Each lens is focused on another lens, setting up this huge cloaking field. You do this circular. When this moves, this moves. It's the same light. This is like, I think, is a laser refracted. It's not moving with the lenses because it's not pointed at the lens. This light here is directed towards the Earth. That's why we're getting moving with this object. So if I could just go this back and forth, we would see that same exact lens array that we saw on the other film. Here we can watch another time-lapse video with... Let me bump this forward a little bit. We're going to see the blue skies. Take notice of the time here. It's 7.04 to 7.06. We get the purple skies for 10 minutes. Then the moon comes up. It flashes. It suddenly grows gigantic in size and just explodes, almost the size of this planetary object hiding over here. So night after night, we can do it. You could do this too. Again, look how this beam of light is unaffected by the lens array, but yet we can focus on these other beams. We can even see the lens array appear. Let's go back. And this is day, this is the fifth. This is another day. We can see the lens array here. We can see the lens petals from the fake light system. We can see this beam of light bending around this lens array and dancing around this. And we can watch very carefully. You can see it forming a perfect circle. If I move this back and forth, you would see the circular button. Again, now we can see the lens array lighting up up here. This is giving us what those bizarre clouds that we see in, that people are taking pictures. Horizontal rainbow clouds. 
I've made videos about the strange clouds. This is it. This is why. As this system gets brighter and closer to these lenses, it's going to start breaking down. I did a matrix video on that as well. I really like this one. This little time lapse here. Again, the star of the show. Right. Look at this little moon. Moves across the sky. The sky turns purple. This thing just lights up, flashes, changes shape, lights up to all of the lenses in the lens array. This thing looking more obvious. It looks like a ring of these things, right? Like a spiral. I know there's so many theories on those, right? I don't think they've been put up by chemtrails, though. They're too perfectly round. I don't know how they're going to curl perfectly round stuff through chemtrails, nanoparticulates. I'm open to the theories. I posted mine on JPL. I think it's ultra thin material. Does anything look natural at all anymore? Look how these things just project all the way down to the floor. That is not on the lens. That's out there in space. Well, please copy, like, and share this video. I hope you liked it. You guys have a blessed day. <laughs> wow. I guess I have one more comment here. That's just, that's just amazing to me. You can just see how the light is being bent. Let's watch this one more time. I can't tell you how many hours I spent making this particular video, getting this time lapse together. I'm trying to answer everybody's questions. I'm not good at answering difficult questions through a comment. I'm better in videos just demonstrating. I want to show you that one of the beams of light that comes off this thing, look how it bends around the lens array right here. Just look at that. See how it's changing? <laughs> well, have a blessed day. See you at the Lord's Supper. Good night.